So this is QuickTime 10 in Snow Leopard. Um, and you know, obviously the big change here is the the new interface. So you've got this dark title bar and this this new controller. Um, and you know, underneath it's been totally rewritten to do uh, core video, core animation, core audio, that kind of stuff. Um, so you know, if you just hit play and take your mouse away, you know, you just get this nice floating window of video, which is great. And you put your mouse back, you, you, know, you get it back. Um, you hit this button, you can sort of immediately um, share your video, whatever you're watching, to to one of um, these sites. If you had iTunes, actually, you get a, a little choice of presets, which we'll come back to in a second. Um, and you know, there's a new trim setting where you can kind of very, very much like the iPhone 3GS, kind of drag and click, and that's wonderful. Here's here's the problem with QuickTime 10. They've taken away tons of functionality from QuickTime Pro. QuickTime Pro doesn't exist anymore, and so you'd think that you would just sort of get all those features for free, but instead they're just missing. So, for example, um, if I just go to hit Save As, um, these are all the choices you get for um, export options. And in QuickTime Pro, uh, in the past, you know, you you basically be able to generate any sort of file that QuickTime could read. Um, you basically be able to generate any file that QuickTime had a codec for, and, and I can't. And you know, even these presets are are uh, a little opaque because you don't know what they're going to be. Um, same with the share menu; it's the same options as down below. You don't really know what's going to happen. You hit YouTube, and, and, and something will happen, and it's not clear. And in fact, I haven't even been able to get this to work yet. Um, on top of that, QuickTime Player doesn't even have any preferences anymore. They're they're just sort of gone. Um, so that means if you know if you want to set up a default full screen monitor to present videos or um, you know you have some other some other crazy settings that you're used to in QuickTime 7, um, you may not be able to set them up. And there's not even you know the preference pane for QuickTime 7 Pro is gone too. It's not in system preferences anymore. So they've rebuilt QuickTime on top of um, you know these new technologies like Core Video, and you know you get this wonderful effect. Um, but a lot of the functionality of QuickTime is gone, and even other apps that depend on QuickTime, like my Elgato uh, Turbo 264 HD, doesn't really work right now. Um, so hopefully, you know, things will change rapidly in the space with QuickTime. Um, a lot of people depend on QuickTime um, to, to do their jobs, and not having it work and not having all the functionality of QuickTime present in Snow Leopard might actually be a reason to not spend all of $30 and upgrade right away. So that's QuickTime 10 in Snow Leopard.